Business is always about relationships, right? It's about, I wanna know you as a person. I wanna know you, the human being. That's my thing. I wanna know about I think business and life is all about relationships, really targeting who is my customer. So you speak their language, all your marketing goes to them, not only to network, but see how you can form strategic partnerships. Well then, let's move on to Sujira, followed by Sterling. My name is Sujira Rabasha, and I'm the co-host of the Rabasha Family Podcast. Now we help high level entrepreneurs dominate the industry. You see, the problem is these high level entrepreneurs love what they do. They love their passion and their business, but they don't have time to create content. They don't have time to document the journey. And that's where we come in. We help them tell their story and achieve dominance in their industry by being all over and building their personal brand. So I'm looking to connect with business leaders, business leaders who offer high ticket services and wanna use media to funnel in and build their leads and their legacy. Sujira Rabasha. Well Connect with me on LinkedIn. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, where are you joining us from, Sujira? Uh, here in Sydney. In Sydney. Fantastic. Well done. Let's move on to Sterling. Follow um, I ran a property management, uh, real estate rental property management company here in Calgary for uh, 14 years. Sorry, Calgary, Edmonton, and Vancouver. So we had am looking to scale up my impact. Some great conversations. Uh, I joined the local BX chapter here. And, and you know what, like for, for me as well, like to be honest, I've like to be in this environment to just connect with entrepreneurs and founders. Oh yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's honestly amazing. Like, you know, I wouldn't have met you guys right now this second if it wasn't for yeah. this, right? you're from Canada, you know, so I think obviously like with, with the time, I think what we can do is let's connect on LinkedIn. I think that's something that's cool that everyone's there. Um, and then we also like, we have like a founders community. So we actually have about four to five BX members, North Sydney and Sydney. And we've built like a member community on our WhatsApp where it's just founders, you know, talking about, it's basically a discussion group, right, on using LinkedIn. So I can invite you guys and then we can all, you know, have a chat. Yeah, yeah sure, yeah. I've found a couple of other businesses as well that I'd work on outside of this business. Yeah, so it's a great way for us to just to keep, you know, keep that contact, keep connecting. You know, I think business and life is all about relationship, right? How can we just get to know each other as people, you know, and then once we're able to do that and continue telling stories, referrals, just things just happen organically. So, um, yeah, it's been amazing meeting you. So, uh, yeah, let's connect. So, Jerry, so, so here, uh, we've only got a few seconds left. But how did you? Uh, I heard I heard you do a family podcast. Is that is that how you started? Yeah, or, correct. What's your okay? Dad just came to me one day and he was like, "Son, why don't we start a podcast?" Well, I was already a YouTuber, and then we started it, and it was just conversations about life, about you know what we did as children, things he never told me, and then it built into like a business. So yeah, it'd be crazy. <laughs> Cool. So do you still do that? Yeah, yeah. Conversations with your dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just dropped one That's just yesterday. Awesome. <laughs> I love that. That's a fantastic story. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I, I guess it just made me... Sure. It, it just made me see the human side to them. I always saw mum and dad as mum and dad, but when you sit down and talk with them, like, you actually see them as human beings. Wait, so where are you now? In Perth. Oh, okay, Perth. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I fly back and forth. Um, half our client base is actually based in, in Sydney. Okay, so what, what, what exactly do you do? I run a handful of uh, digital marketing agencies. So that means we run uh, Chinese and English marketing campaigns uh, comprehensively. We only a handful in the show like we can do that. Do they supply the content or you guys are just doing the marketing? So you're running the campaigns, the, the, the ads, like, yeah, what exactly are you guys doing? I mean, what, what kind of space are you looking to get into? So, um, uh, look, con consulting them, like podcast host, you know, like how to have a good podcast, how to have a good show, because there's some people who literally want to improve that. But then also yeah. the personal branding side, right? Like, yes, you should be going and doing this, or, you know, if they do need that help, we have a team that can do it, but more the, that, so, cause I'm an expert in that field, right? And I know I can add value. So yeah, I, I love what you're doing and I, I wanna see like, and how does it look like? What does it look like to be a consultant with you? So then you charge, you know? So, so my background is more so, I just came as a content creator. I was just a YouTuber, right? But like I did it for, for so long that it became a skill, it became an art in capturing the attention, you know, thumbnails right. and everything. And so that I learned to build a brand and I built my brand quite significantly. So that's kind of just my background. 
right? Wait, wait, what, what's your brand, by the way? I'm actually very curious. Um, YouTube? Uh, YouTube is, is our big platform. So Sujira, S-U-G. Rabasha? Yeah, yeah. So Sujira, Rabasha is my personal one. Um, yeah. And then off the back of that, we built the podcast. Okay. All right. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What a journey. So did you start it in Sydney or like, you know, did you start it when you were? Yeah, when I was overseas, I just like turned the camera on, like crappy phone, iPhone 7 or 8, right? And then I just started it and it just, I don't know, it led to this, right? Then my dad was like, hey, like, why don't we start a podcast? And I'm like, oh, yeah. And then me and dad just started sitting down, turning the camera on, and then it led to building clients. And so, you know, I'm, I'm intrigued on your story as well. And more so like that consulting part is really, because I can offer that as part of our, so we have our, because it's going to get to a point where we can't take any more clients, right? There's only, mm. until I keep, I expand the team. So now to add that revenue stream of consulting, you know? The podcast that we're running. So as you know, we've been running for about six months now. And I think we're up to F6 for us um, oh. so 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 a lot of learnings on that one brother um so what we found mm -hmm. and what i've also applied to this um, yeah that'll be cool to see it's so it's because i think that's a great strategy right like i tell people build a podcast your podcast is a media company behind your business it's genius right. right it's freaking genius you can add funnels you can add advertisements you guys are doing sponsorships like you know so just keep going bro like i love your journey and to hear that you have a growth mindset like yeah. Yeah. No, 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 I appreciate it. Like, you know, have a bit of a look. You can on Spotify and YouTube. Uh, everywhere. Cool. So, check, check it out. I would love to get your genuine feedback as well. Yeah. <laughs> Always ask your feedback. <laughs> For sure. What we'll do as well, uh, your LinkedIn, your, uh, so what does the day-to-day -day look like? Are you service, like you have a team with service delivery, then you're consulting and, and what is consulting? Like, how does that, you're traveling? How does that look like? They're always marketing to people, to audiences that actually are not relevant, you know? Like, like, it's like trying to convert a Buddhist into a Christian, right? Or convert a Muslim into, into a Catholic. It's not gonna work. So that's why you have to really know your market well. And you don't want to spend too much time on high resistance markets. I love it, bro. Good advice, man. Hey, I'm, I'm just soaking all up that game. That's great mm. advice, you know? And, and it's, it's true, right? The, I think the target audience really targeting, who is my customer? So you speak their language, all your marketing goes to them. Right, and you can create marketing, podcasting around your target audience and be where they are. So LinkedIn, that's where they are, or TikTok, that's where they are. Focus on that, yeah. be omnipresent, but you know you know exactly who you're talking to because you're right, bro, you're just putting your content somewhere where they're just using it for entertainment. They're not gonna act on that, right? Who's most likely to take a call to action on your content, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, very interesting. Hmm. I saw on your LinkedIn. Are you still a uh, footballer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still? Yeah, I play football oh, as well. Yeah. Are you? Are you? What, are you in team? The, so, the, so the national team. So I was on Rwanda's national team um, quite a while back with, from my home country. Um, so now I'm looking to get into professional football, like the A League, you know, back in because I was playing in Sweden. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Right. Value out of your one to ones. So now we've got some announcements. Before we come back. Yeah, yeah, it does. And what I love, I, I love your passion. And I think why you're doing so well is because your clients can see your passion. And so when they see your passion, it makes them passionate, but also you're delivering value. So number one, I'm really, I'm really intrigued in terms of, I want to soak some knowledge from you. And then I do see some potential synergies in what you do and who you're looking for. So my first question was going to be in terms of even the keywords, right? How many keywords should you have on your website? So for example, like us, podcast personal brand how often how do you scale up that organic with with what you do what into and is that in terms of social in terms of the content and the strategy and oh yeah i know you from the socials that's the no like trust factor yes yes so the, i i see so much synergy here so you mentioned the buyer agent as well i have a client he does um, wealth uh, property, you know, it's very similar to that, right? And so we manage his content, but he's been looking for someone to help with his SEO, right, for the website, because we we're, we're, what we're doing is we're building his YouTube channel because Google owns YouTube. So like us, we have like following, YouTube is the go-to that we really like target, like with our podcast and content. And then we repurpose, for example, LinkedIn. So not only because I'm in that industry now, this is a client that we're working with, if now I can say, hey, look, we're doing all your great content, right? We're doing all this stuff on YouTube. Now you just need a powerful blog. 
I can come refer them to you, you know, then at least I have the trust to know because that's not my, it's not really my niche. Yes, I'm good at copywriting on LinkedIn. That's about it. Um, but you know, that's something that you can, and we can partner. Um, and I could be, because that's, that's really like a, a added thing that I'd be so glad to refer to someone who can actually do the job and for you to be like, Hey, look, we're doing this for your website. Look at these guys, look at their podcast, look at the clients. And, and, you know, we'll talk on LinkedIn and you know what I mean? We can go from there, especially in that property industry. I feel there's like a synergy there, like looking like even on a consultant basis to help them with that as well. Right. So it's even doing the content, but coming in as a consultant and saying to them, hey, look, why don't you start your own podcast? Right. You should have your own podcast. It's a buyer's agent. Talk about what you guys do about the properties, make it around storytelling. And like, for example, we can help them run their podcast. Right. Or give them advice. So I want to offer that consulting to help them. OK, you bring the movie to us and we say, we look at what they have, we look at their social media pl platforms, and even if it's just giving them advice, or if they're really desperate, we'll implement, them, implement it for them, right? Um, but yeah. It's that niche. It's how does it all tie together in the right way? So can I send my LinkedIn here? And because we also have like a, okay, I can send it here. And then we also have like a WhatsApp group. I think you'd, we have like a couple BX members in there, just business owners. We just, we talk on WhatsApp about brand. You know, it's just a discussion group of like, we have like 34 founders in here. So it's just great to, you know, just as business owners, me and you talking, other people, like it's it's really good. And the BX members, we all kind of network for our events. Where are you based? Uh, we're in Brisbane at the oh, moment. Okay, okay, we're Brisbane. actually sitting up our second office down in Melbourne. Me too. I love that. I love that. To be able to just, you know, go in and travel. And that's what I'm saying even we can come to Melbourne, Brisbane, and we can, you know, like business friends. It's like business is always about relationships, right? It's about, I want to know you as a person. I want to know you, the human being, right? Like that's my thing. I want to know about Kim, right? And then from there, just synergy and authenticity comes along. <laughs> Very chic, <cute. laughs> Welcome back, everyone. That is my morning. Um, I have one hour now until I have a podcast interview with Max Phelps author of this book. Um, this was a networking event. I'm really enjoying BX networking. Like to be in the room with business owners is so important. So I hope you guys got some value just in my conversations today um, and how I can connect and network as um, a business owner, right? Like sometimes you're lonely in this journey, but I think the number one thing is, is not only to network, but see how you can form strategic partnerships. Partnerships, right? So it's it's all about learning about people and partnerships. It's so valuable. You never know who someone can connect you with and you can partner, send each other business and just keep growing, right? Keep growing your brand and your reach. So personal branding is so important. Brand yourself, talk to people. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Join that WhatsApp group for all the founders. Again, this was raw, authentic. I'm not gonna edit this much. It's all about just authentic and real conversations. So. So, um, yeah, link in the description and we'll see you soon. My name is Sujira Rabasha, the co-founder of the Rabasha Family Podcast. Now, I know you. I know you have a story to tell. I know you have a mission and vision that you obsess constantly about and you're solving problems in the marketplace. So I want to sit down and get your story. I want to hear the real juice and authentic of who you are because at the end of the day, people want to know about you. They care about you as a human being. So this is your chance to come on the Rabasha Family Podcast and be part of our founder series. We are hosting a founder series with entrepreneurs from all all over the world who had an imagination to create their business. We want to know you, the person, and how you're solving problems in the marketplace. So if you want to get in touch, fill out our quiz. Now, the quiz is a way for us to qualify you to see if you can come on the show. We can really see how powerful your brand is, where you are, so we can have you as an industry expert to come and tell your story. Business and life is all about communication. How can you tell stories and how can I sit down and ask you questions that are going to get to your soul? See you soon. If you really enjoyed this video, make sure to click here and I'm sure you're going to love that one.